Hello guys, this is my once again from Josephic and today I will be walking you through how to dereference a satellite image. And DIS, yeah, what do you mean by dereference? So dereference is just the process of taking a scanned image, a digital image, a satellite image, and adding the geographic location on those images so that TGIS or ArcGIS as the case may be or any other GIS software can actually use that image for further analysis. So without further ado, let's get started into it. So guys, um, this is my QGIS interface again. Now uh, we need to bring in the um, satellite image that I want to the reference. But before then, um, I would like to bring in this Google satellite um, base map. And then also I've actually defined a, an area that wants uh, us to focus on our area of interest or, or to reference our satellite image. So let me bring in that particular um, shape file for the area. So this is it, new boundary, open, okay, close. So let me go to my layer panel. So if I zoom into this layer, okay, probably they are not aligning because of the um, coordinate system. Let me change the reference system. Okay, let's hit it for apply. Okay, zoom to layer. Okay, let me try. This is WGS 84, right? Apply. Okay. Okay, let me use the project to learn what's going on. What do we have? Okay, so the VGS is four. Apply, okay. Wow, these are some of the issues. This is why I'm trying to. Okay, well, let me zoom in. Okay, I think I just need to um, reproject this particular layer. Let me open it. Let's see. Okay, let me do it to the view. Yes, it's important. So this is it over here. So this is it. Oh, let me change the symbology. Okay, let me make this transparent. Then I can make the stroke with a little bit. Um, okay, let me change the color. Apply. This should be okay. So guys, this is what we are interested in. This. So this. Is area is a it's a, it's a land field in Lagos State so this is one of the three major land fields that we have in Lagos State so this is our area of interest this one want to digitize so I have a satellite imagery that actually clicked to this particular area so it is that image we are going to actually reference so if you look at this um, image the more I over on this image if you look at the coordinates and window you can see the uh, reference system in WGS as your or longitude and latitude. So let me quickly bring in that image I want you to reference. So this is it here. You can see the grid. Let me open. Add close. So let me zoom into image. So you can see. Now if you look at the coordinate system, you can see that uh, it is not even actually uh, specifying the 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 correct coordinate system so this image is not georeference yet so this image you are going to be working with you are going to georeference this particular image so i'm going to remove it remove the layer so for you to georeference a raster image what you need to do is to go to the raster tab so you are going to see this particular tool georeference as you click on it so here you are you able to bring in the um, image that you want to do reference the satellite or area image that you want to do reference so let me bring in my satellite image you can bring in your satellite image either by going to the file and open raster or you just click straight from there then you go to the folder where you have your image and then click to bring it into this particular window so in the georeference win, window you can see you have 
your file edit view settings so here again you can see you have a start uh, some of the tools you have here is to start your referencing then uh, generate uh, data scripts then you have um, load your ground control points you have save ground control points you have transmission settings add points ticket points and the rest your zoom and zoom out and options then you have um, your um, what's it called again your histogram or full histogram stretch so what we're interested in is actually bringing in our data so i'll go open to our raster then select my raster of interest then uh, i can actually remove uh, more of this because we don't yet i've done it before so i just want to show you guys how to do it properly so let me remove all the disciplines so then this is the last one here so guys this is the image that i want to do reference so any gcp any ground control point you have is going to come on that like you saw before so it is always good you um specify or you pick um many ground control points because the more ground control points you pick the more accuracy your reference is going to be so now for you to add your ground control points so you use this option here add points so guys there are two ways you can uh, reference your image one you can reference your you can reference your image with another satellite image so that was the reason i actually have to open the google satellite image like qgs environment and the boundary so we are going to be directing this particular image using that satellite image we have on my qgs environment so another way um you can do reference an image is that for any point you are going to be picking, if you have the coordinate already with you, then you can pick this, this point. Then there will be a window for you to input your coordinate um, value. So let's go for the um, former uh, method. So I'm going to use that satellite image to do reference this particular um, image here. So let's start um, by adding our point. So again, it is very, very important to your conversions of the area you are actually be referencing so yeah let me just okay let me pick this particular point here and left click so yes this is the way i'm talking about so this is where you impute the coordinates and let's assume for this particular um point you picked just now you have the coordinate system either in wgs or um, or utm so you can impute the coordinate value here your x and y or your eastern and not but well, like i told you you want to you want to use um the Google X, um, Google satellite image. So I'm going to use from map canvas. So here it is going to be directly back to my QGIS and um, map window to um, specify the points that are actually pitched here. So it's going to use that as a referencing point to give this place a what a coordinate value. So let's go, guys. From map canvas, you can see it brought me back to my QGIS environment. So I'm going to zoom into this particular area. So you can see so now i picked um this is the point this is the point of eye so i can click select so you can see it's automatically generated the the what's it called the coordinate value for me so i can click on ok to register it so if you click on ok you will notice that it points the red color is added to that particular um, area of interest so i can go and if you notice here your ground control table it has been added to our table so you can go ahead and pick um, some other points let me go to this stop okay okay let me pick um, um okay let me pick this this is a car park here so let me pick this rooftop pick then we go to select from map canvas then um, okay this is it here so this is that car park and this is the route of i select you can see it has automatically generated the coordinate value so i click ok so let's pick um two more points for my rules okay well let's go let's go let's take it one step at a time so i'm going to pick this rooftop i go to my map canvas i zoom out i go to that particular area so this is the route of over here I select 
okay so let's pick one more we can decide to pick two for less um, okay let me pick this rooftop and I go to the map canvas okay this is it over here is it this let me go back to my environment let me cancel I can't actually remember what I did okay this one map canvas this is it here okay so let me just select one point in the landfill itself inside the landfill so let's I think this is the roof like the top of the container so let's go this is it over here so I select okay so guys after adding your point the next thing you need to do is use your transformation settings so if you click on this um, you need to specify the transformation type the sampling method the target uh, reference system then the name of your output and the folder you want to um, save your file to and the compression if you want to save your ground from the points you can actually activate this so then you click on ok so for me i'm going to leave them as it is as default but let me just quickly run through this you can see for the transmission type you can select linear i'll mark the one two three the templates the template spline then the projective um, option and for the resampling method you have the option to select either the linear one with QB, the QB spline lambs us so for me I, I will stick with using the nearest neighbor and the polynomial mm -hmm. then my target CRS will be the um, WGS 432684 so then let me save let me specify the folder I want to save this then I will click on I will specify the file name so let me say WGS84 WGS84 so you can see as if I start you have 35 so you click on save then from here I don't I don't want to work on any other thing here I just click OK so now you've set your transformation you want to transform this image to a specific coordinate so now what you need to do is to what start the reference you need to click on this icon to start the reference this should take some seconds you can see raster was successfully to reference so our raster in image has been what the reference from the message we got so one thing before you leave this um, interface this georeferencer interface is that probably you might want to uh, save your ground control point for future purposes you never can tell so you can click on save ground control point so I have some saved before, I can just say ground control point ok let me just um, override this that ground is yes so I've actually saved that ground control point so from here we can leave that interface now let's go and bring in our dereference and don't forget the name we used to save it it gone to WGS84 so let me go to layer then add raster layer then add raster then um, let me go to the folder then we got the, this is it over here we got the wgs84 so open add close so guys now let me deactivate this particular um, layer did you notice now this is our image now are you going to know that it has been dereferenced just come down here to your coordinate window you can see now you have that particular image in the vgs what 84 if you want to view this in um etm that's things and nothings in the projected coordinates so let's check if this is going to work so you can go here and specify it as mina that's my own uh, um coordinate system that is particular to my region which is Nigeria so you can see I have this data showing in what in an adapting so let me just go back to my WGS84 apply ok so guys this is how you know that your, your image has been georeferenced so let me um, activate the Google satellite again you can see you can see that the surrounding area looks a 
bit blur compared to that particular um, image. You can see. So the image was downloaded using SARS Planet S A R S. So you can see. So it's overlaid perfectly on a Google satellite image. So guys, that's how you um, do reference a satellite image. So from there you might decide, oh, you want to create your files to digitize the root network, the video footprint, or even just um, delineate the boundary of the, the landfill, probably for you to produce a map as your final output. So that's all we have for you now. See you guys later. So guys, that was all about your references. So now you can bring in your satellite imagery and you reference your image perfectly. Okay, and probably while working with yours, your satellite imagery, if you have issues at all, please use the comment section. I'm always open to your comment, then we'll go to work it out together. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned something today. But before you go, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. See you next time.